championship, and this has been a savage brawl. Believe me, first one and then the other on top. Neither one giving an inch. There's an elbow smash to the heart by Spiros Arian. And there he comes. He's got him up in the air with the atomic drop. Down he goes. He covers him. One, two, but only the count of two. Neither one will give an inch. The most savage match I have ever seen. First one on top and then the other. Worthy of the gladiators of ancient Greece and ancient Rome. What a battle. What a war. Spears Rand's got him in a whip. He whips him into the turnbuckle and catches him. Don't forget, Abdullah the Butcher has not had the advantage of the middle rope. It was removed under orders of the National Wrestling Alliance because the Butcher's axe from the middle rope is illegal in 17 countries. And a capacity crowd here at Festival Hall in Melbourne, Australia are cheering on the Golden Greek. But Abdullah the Butcher lets him have one right in the breadbasket. I told you first one and then the other. It is amazing to me giving away that much weight. Look at that headbutt by Abdullah the Butcher and another one and another one. He could crack his skull with it. But Spiros takes it and takes it and then comes back for more. I've never seen anything like it. This could be it. One, two, but look at the fighting heart of the group. And the fans at Festival Hall are literally going wild. Believe me, he comes up with a knee lift. A headbutt to the side of the head. And Bill of the Butcher on top. A rolling bill drops him. He comes down with the butcher's axe. But his legs are outside the rope. And he cannot get a fall. Eddie Swan says, no, his feet are outside the rope. On the bottom strand of the rope, the middle strand having been removed, as we told you. Girls are pulling himself up. I don't see how anybody could take the punishment of both of these men. The headbutts again. More headbutts. He hits him with a headbutt again. He's got him in a headlock. And down goes Sparrows are in. Eddie Swan watching very closely. But he won't give up. He comes in with a side headlock on Abdullah the Butcher. He's got a side headlock on Abdullah the Butcher. Abdullah the Butcher throws Spiros Arian into the referee Eddie Swan and Eddie Swan goes down. Spiros trying to get up to his feet. He does get up to his feet and oh I don't believe it. Big Bad John has thrown a chair into the ring but he's not going to use it. He's going to use the Butcher's axe from up there on the chair. He used the chair and Eddie Swan says it. He goes over. He's raised his hands. He's been giving him the instructions to the ring announcer, Paul Jennings. Wait for the announcement. The referee has awarded the match to Spiro Serin. The winner. An Austria Asian heavyweight champion, Phil Sarian. And now as he tries to hand the belt, look at Abdullah the Butcher. He dropped Eddie Swan and put the butcher's axe on Eddie Swan. And now Spiro Sarian is picking up that chair. Look at Abdullah the Butcher come down. And now he's coming out up again. Poor Eddie Swan has taken a beating. The hands of Abdullah the Butcher, but hey, Spiros Arian trying to protect the referee. The match is over, using the chair, and in comes Waldo Von Ari. And now, three against one, a headbutt. He spins him around. John gets him. And the headbutt by Abdullah into the midsection by John. The match is over, but now here's King Curtis. Curtis comes in and the war is really on. Curtis is really one winding. 
Let's fall all down there. He have it right in the eye. He comes chops big bad John. And in and, and here comes Mark Lewin. He up in Waldo Von Erie. Curtis has really taken over on Abdullah the Butcher. And Mark Lewin giving Big Bad John and his soldiers the punishment they so richly deserve. And who comes back the strongest? The bad and great spirits are in. Yes, sir. No doubt about it. This has been a battle. This has been a war. The war is spreading. Believe me, it's all out war.